Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do my top 18 purchases of 2018. And so everything I have here, I'm pretty certain that I bought in 2018. And some of these are like most worn, and then some of these are just like they excited me the most and they were just good purchases you know sometimes you buy something and you're like eh, you know it wasn't that big of a deal as you thought it was going to be and then sometimes you buy it and you're like oh, okay that's what all the fuss is about so i have been making a list on my phone and so i the thing is a lot of these if if you've been here with me for any time at all you will know these but i do have some new people so welcome <laughs> A lot of these are like really, really favorites. And the first one is these sunglasses. And everybody knows how much I love these. They are the Ray-Ban Clubmaster Blaze. And I went, I love these so much that I went and bought the blue ones that are kind of a gradient lens. And I sold those. I just, they, I, for some reason, I just did not like those as much as these. And I think the reason I like these is because they're so classic. They go with anything. And the ones I have are just the classic. They look, they look black, but they're actually green, like that dark, classic Ray-Ban, dark, dark green. And then the gold. And um, you may like, you know, some of the other colors, but to me, these are just... These almost ruin it for every other pair of sunglasses I have because I'll think, oh, I need to wear, you know, I need to wear some more of my sunglasses. But I always go back to these. They are just light. They're just perfect. They go with every look, you know, casual, dressed up, faux fur, jean jacket, it doesn't matter. And I just think that everyone, everyone would love these. And I think I've had these in some of my gift videos. I think they'd be an awesome gift for anyone but so these are definite i think these were the yeah my first ones that i put down okay so this is the what i have down for number two and it is this faux fur that i bought earlier in the season from urban outfitters and it is glorious and i think this is a lot of the reason because it's lined in this like satiny lining it just goes on like i mean oh it just feels so good it's so yummy and soft and easy like it's not real bunchy up under my seat belt and i just love it it goes with jeans it goes when i'm dressed up it looks good with little dresses it just looks good with everything and i know that it sold out um, online but i had one of my subscribers say that she found it in the store so if you go by an urban outfitters was it urban outfitters i'll put the link down below so we know for sure i'm pretty sure it was urban outfitters and um so love it love it love it love it this one has been on every i've done a whole video on this and it's been on my favorites but it's just fabulous brooke wore it yesterday and um it's the trucker jacket with the faux fur collar and it just again is comfortable fabulous looks good with everything it's it has like the unfinished hem the unfinished sleeves you can take this collar off it's warm but yet it's um i don't know the fact that it's big it kind of forms like i don't know you just feel like you're wrapped up in like a blanket or something but yet it's not um binding or uncomfortable and it's not too heavy it's not too long so i don't feel like i'm having to drag something in the car like i i don't enjoy really long jackets that i have to you know just feel like i have to carry around with me it's just a really good one and it just looks good with everything it looks good with black it looks good just in every occasion and um we have really 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 gotten our use out of this I bought my mom the regular Sherpa trucker jacket and she has loved that too. Okay, and I'm gonna go right down the list and the next one I have down here is Roxy. And it's these flip flops that I bought last summer and I love these things. They, I wore these so much and I was like so thankful that I went ahead and got them. This is just like something I would have worn, I wore a lot of things like this when I had my babies and I was having to, you know, you know when i had will brooke was just a little over she was three and a half 
And so, you know, when you're having to carry that big thing and then keep up with her and everything, I wanted to have something, you know, kind of good on or heels on, but you have to have something you can run in. And I always wore something like this. And I've had several people ask me about, you know, that they watch me and they have little kids and they don't, they can't put their makeup on every day. How do you not lose yourself and everything? And even though it's been so long since I've had babies, that's something I'm pretty passionate about is just all of those things like rediscovering yourself after your kids are kind of growing up and when you're having babies. So I'm going to do a video on that real soon. I've been thinking about things like little tips for you. And this would be one of them is just some comfortable shoes like this that have a little bit of a heel and just make you elevate your look and the way you feel just a little bit. And that's how these are. I mean, I would wear these with little dresses and everything and they're just comfortable but they just look a little bit better than just a flat flip-flop or tennis shoes or something okay and to go along with that this is something i have worn to death and i probably have about i would say five of five or six of them and it's these little camis and i hope they still sell them at target but they were not like in the lingerie or anything they're right there where they stack you know tank tops and t-shirts and stuff like that when you walk in target to the left and it's these little camis and you can see they have such a good weight and they were kind of have a little rib and what's pretty about them is that little bit of a lace you know trim right there it's not too much and then the little spaghetti straps and i have loved these so much i love these underneath like your leather jacket or a blazer um just underneath i mean you could just use them purely as a layering piece but even in the summer, I love that whole kind of like that Kim Kardashian look where just a cami and sweatpants or just a cami and your yoga pants or something like this. And my yoga pants from New York and Company, I've worn that a lot. And it just gives you a little real comfortable around the house outfit that you could run in the grocery store and feel good in. You know, it's still flattering. It still shows your, it's not low cut or anything. And I just wear like a little bralette under it but um, real soft and sleep in them. I just do everything. I layer these underneath, you know, things to stay warm and um, just a definite love and most worn thing of the year. Let's see, uh, Target Kimmy, okay, Zara dresses. And I haven't worn these in a long time because this is kind of like a, I, I don't wear these like in the dead of winter, even though you could if you wanted to layer over them. But these little dresses that I get from Zara and they're in the basics like the um says zara trifolic and this is spring summer 2017 is what it's got on here and i get the large because i don't want i probably could wear a medium but i don't know large fits me pretty good but they're just these little nothing dresses but they have a really pretty neckline you know kind of like that straight across neckline and you can wear a bra with them because the strap is big enough and then it's bodycon, but not like in a, you know, it won't, you won't have like ripples or anything. It just is, just fits down your body. And then it goes all the way to your knees and then has like a little slit in the back. And I got this, I bet I have, oh gosh, I probably have four or five, four, probably about four black ones. And I have the gray one, the, um, there was a nude one, there was a polka dot one and they were like $19.99. And it's just something that I can just throw on and put on those Roxy flip-flops and go out and feel, you know, comfortable, but just, you know, just a little bit better than sweatpants or something like that. So I wore those a lot. Okay, oh, this is probably my biggest, best purchase, my Gucci bag. And I have not moved out of this since I bought it. I bought this when we went to Washington right before school started. And this is just, without a doubt, just probably, probably the best bag I've ever bought. The best designer bag I've ever bought. You know, I love my Balenciagas, but this is just, I don't know, um, prettier and a little bit more timeless and a little bit more go with everything. The Balenciagas are just a little bit more casual and um, I just love it. I use the strap on it. It has the zipper. It holds just crazy amounts of stuff. It's user friendly. I just can't say enough good about it. And it comes in, uh, that's the medium, but it also comes in a larger size and it comes in like a pretty 
um, like a dark red that's really pretty. And then my friend Sheila has it in the bigger size in the classic Gucci colors where it's like a, a saddle suede with the green and red. Oh, that is gorgeous. So, and then I've seen uh, Negan Marsley, however you pronounce her last name. She has a big one that she uses for her like travel bag on the plane. It's just a great bag. It's, I can't say one negative thing about that bag. And the cost compared to other, you know, designer bags was really good, I thought. Okay, uh, Gucci bag. Okay, Victoria's Secret panties. And I debated whether to bring some out here because um, I don't have any new ones to show you, but I promise these are clean. <laughs> and they're not skimpy anyway. They're actually far from skimpy. But they, they are these stretchy seamless panties the seam is actually down the middle down your bottom so that's kind of good because it gives you that i don't know they say that's a good thing to have a seam right there i know in bathing suits that's a thing it gives you more shape but what i love about these is the high i wouldn't say high high leg but it's definitely not one of those legs like a brief or a boy short it definitely comes up and then it comes up high rise and they just make you feel they're not like control top or anything, but they kind of make you feel smooth and kind of sucked in, especially like under a dress like that. And like I said, they're not going to give you any like real control, but they do kind of smooth things out. They just feel good. You know, it just feels good when something's up, you know, smoothing against you like that. There's no, nothing's jabbing in you. And they're kind of sexy in a way because they're a little bit retro looking. Like when you have those on and then your bra with it, it kind of gives you that, um, little bit of retro 60s type feel like old Hollywood look and I have just I mean I've just bought them like time and time again they're usually five for something and I started out getting they've got the high waist ones in thong I've got the cheekies but the last five that I got I think were all this the high-waisted they might even call these boy shorts but just don't think that they're going to be the kind that goes straight across at the bottom. They don't. They cut up enough where it's comfortable. But I promise you will not regret these. And they may not be, you know, I used to wear those lacy thongs all the time. But I just got tired of those. And I just felt like they weren't as flattering underneath clothes. And I didn't enjoy sleeping them in them, sleeping in them as much. And those just, I don't know, they make you feel good. Okay, let's see. Um, Spanx Bralette. And I know I brought that out here. Here it is. This is something that's not, I won't say that you're going to feel like the sexiest thing on earth when you wear this, but it is a comfortable bralette. I have it, I have two black ones and a nude one. The only thing is I wish the straps weren't so thick because it keeps me from being able to wear it with like the camis. Sometimes I just do it anyway, but I really like a thin, really thin strap, but it kind of goes along with the whole concept of this. Like this is double layer and it's real soft. And um, I don't know if you can see how stretchy, but soft the back is. It pulls over your head. I get the medium if I had to guess. Yeah, medium. And um, I'm a 34 double D still, even though I got a reduction, I'm still that, but it's just a different 34 double D. And so, and then it gives you good, it's got a good low V, so it doesn't like, you know, if something's low cut, it doesn't show, and it gives you good cleavage. I mean, good, not like smashed cleavage, but I like, I like for my cleavage to be up, but not smashed in, and that's what it does. It just is a really good looking bralette underneath clothes, and it gives good support, and um, I just think it's real soft, easy to put on, and I just, it's one that I go to a lot. I've got on here my bathroom makeup lights and I've shown those to you before but I'll put the link down below. They were like, I don't know, oops, 20 or $25 and it's just a set of bright makeup lights that actually stick. They're kind of connected by the wire but you stick them all around your mirror and it gives you that kind of makeup light look and Brooke taught me this, you don't cut the light, your regular light above on, you just use those lights and it's so nice and it's, I don't know, I love, I can see my face so much better when I put my makeup on and um, I've just really, really enjoyed them. We got some for Brooke's bathroom too and she loves them. And they're just a definite thing that has 
helped me this year. A Gucci belt. I can't remember when I got each belt, but this is the last one that I got when I was in Washington when I got the bag. And it is, I wanted a smaller one that I could wear up on my waist. And I have not, I think I've only worn this like one or two times, but it's just one of those things that I'll probably wear more when it's warmer and I got it at the end of last season but I just love this color it's that real pretty like rose nude color and love it I just think it's so pretty and classy and then this is the first one that I got which is the feline buckle Gucci belt and I love him I just think he's so fabulous it's the same one that is on the front of my bag yeah the same one there <laughs> this is probably, I don't know, I don't know if I've worn this one the most or I don't know if you saw I've got my other one on. And I guess if I had to say to start with one, it would be this because this one is just the easiest one to wear. And um, I have got it like, I mean, my hip bones are like right here. So I've got it kind of low right now because I'm just old school and I still love low or medium jeans. I don't know what it is about me, but um so anyway, this one, it just elevates any outfit. I think that they're so versatile. You could like put on, I love when I see people do different things with them. Like they've got a, bla a, a man's blazer on and they use them like on the outside of it or something like that. It just gives you a lot of options and they are expensive, but I don't think you'll ever wear it out. I don't think they're ever gonna go out of style. And I just think you'd really enjoy it. It's something that has uh, sparked joy. <laughs> Okay, that was the Gucci belt and now I'm going to say the Gucci slides and this is cheating slightly because I got these in December. This is what John bought me for Christmas. But oh my goodness, I have, I see what the hype is about and you know I have to wait a while sometimes on purchases like this to see if I'm really gonna, if it's really gonna, I don't know if it grows on me and if it's really gonna stick and is it really worth it, you know, but these suckers are warm. I love wearing them when it's really cold outside, but I don't feel like putting on socks and boots or tennis shoes or anything. And do not wear these if you're the kind of person that you don't like comments because people will make all kinds of comments about them. But I like talking to people, you know, nine out of 10, ten times. So I enjoy it. And um, they're just, they look good with everything. They're, I don't know, they just elevate your look. And I really, now that I have these, I wouldn't mind having just the plain ones without the fur. And um, I think I would still get the mule. I enjoy just slipping them on and um, I see what the hype is about. And they are just, they're beautiful and they're perfect and I love them. You can see I've already worn the bottoms off. But, um, and I get the 38 and a half and I am a, a size eight. So just size up one half a size. And then these I got at the end of, kind of, not at the end, but kind of like around the same time I got the Roxy. This is something else that I kind of, you know, was like, what is all the hype about? How can people like these so much, you know? And they were a little, um, I'm not, it's like I'm not that, I like some preppy stuff. Like I love Lily Pulitzer and I love some of uh, Kate Spade and Tori Burch things, but I'm not a real, like some girls around here are real preppy. And that's what I thought of when I saw these. But then they just kind of grew on me. And I like the ones that are the solid nude too. But these, these little leopard ones, I had just enjoyed these. They're very comfortable. They're not flippy floppy. You know what I mean? You put them on and they're like on your foot. Kind of like those Gucci ones that I just showed you. They don't, it's not something that you flip flop around in. They come up higher on your foot. And these are just so pretty. Like these and one of those Zara dresses would definitely be something I would wear on a typical day in the summertime and feel, it's something that's so simple, but I would feel good in it. So these, and they're very comfortable. And you know, these are like that, the pattern, and they did not feel, my foot didn't feel gross in them. Like, you know what I mean? Like some shoes are yucky, like patent leather shoes will make your feet sweat. These did not do that at all. I really liked these and the size, I got because I can remember um, that being an issue when I got these, thinking about what size was I gonna get. And whatever I got, I was happy with. Okay, I just got the eight medium made in Brazil and I was happy with it. So I think some people say to size up, but I don't like a lot of extra. So love these. 
goodness, I thought I just heard one of the cats throwing up and it was sassy in my belt drawer. <laughs> I just heard the belts jingling. You know how they make that awful noise when they're getting sick. But so she's over there in my belt drawer I had pulled out. Okay, leopard sandals, Harry Josh clips. This is something, they come in a pack of six and I believe I gave two to Tammy when I was there with her in um, Florida. But you know, I use the black ones when I, the ones I got at Ulta, when I'm just putting my bangs back to do my makeup or something. But at night, after I dry my hair and I go through it with that just from heaven, Conair Infinity Pro, that's all I've been using lately, and I go through my hair, the next thing I do is, after you've dried your hair, I don't know if you've noticed that it's almost like it needs a little bit of a period of a calm down period, you know, where it needs to cool off and, you know, to hold the style. So what I do is after I've dried it, I take this piece and I, see how long and flat these are? I go like this and I make sure that this is like flat down to my head and I do this and then I take the rest of my, this is gonna be pretty, I take the rest of my bangs and I kind of like do this and I do the same thing on this side <laughs> and then I do the same thing over here and keep those pieces down and then a lot of times I'll take the back and I'll just twirl it up in a loose, I don't really want it to get curly, but this helps it not be like stick straight too. And then I tape this up and I walk around like this for a while, probably at least 30 minutes or so until it gets on my nerves when I'm trying to watch TV or do something. And then I'll take it out. Usually I'm in the bed and I've got these sitting on my nightstand. And what it'll do is it'll kind of, your hair will kind of train, be trained to lay down and be calm especially if you have hair like mine that's kind of um, wants to be crazy, then, I mean, I don't know. If I lost these, and I can't use the small ones, they're not the same. If I lost these, I would be like, matter of fact, I feel like ordering a backup just to make sure I have them because they are special. And I don't think I could do, I don't think my hair would turn out as like smooth and easy if I didn't have those. So, and you'll see a lot of um, celebrity hairstylists use stuff like that. And I have shown you these, I've had them in favorites, I've had them in gift ideas, and I don't feel like I need to go on and on about them. I gave a pair to my sister-in-law and my mom for Christmas, and they both love them. They are just feather light Chanel. Stay over there, baby. And um, they're just cute, and I wear them with or without socks. I think I've worn them with a thin pair of socks. I usually wear them without socks. And I love them like with my Zella leggings and this one of these black, Where's that black tank top? Okay, Zella leggings, this tank top, my big Levi's jacket, and these tennis shoes. And you've got a little cute little outfit to run around in. Now, I live in North Carolina, so we aren't as cold as most of you are, but like today, we're in the 40s or 50s, and um, that's something that I would put on, or, you know, especially, yeah, because that Levi's jacket keeps you warm. So, love these, and everybody I have given them to likes them too. And then the next thing I have down here is the Echo, the Amazon Echo, the, um, you know, Alexa. And I have one upstairs, and Chanel, I have one upstairs, and then I've got one in my bathroom. And the one in my bathroom I use to play music. And I'm going to do a video on Guilty Pleasures. And um, what I listen to a lot will be on there. And, but I love, and then I even can, I have some other like radio stations that I can listen to on there. And you can just play like the top 50. It'll play your top played, anything. I just love it. And it's just easy, you know? And if I don't like it, I'm getting ready. I'll say, you know, Alexa, next song. And she'll go on to the next song. I've just enjoyed that. My orthodontist just called. I'm getting my trays tomorrow. I can't remember where I was. Was I talking about? Yeah. Okay. And the one I have upstairs, I use. She turns my lights on. And I play music and everything up there. And I'm sure I could do a lot more with it. But that I just haven't even thought about it. That's I've just enjoyed having that. These. These shoes are just... To, I mean, to be slides. And I'm really not... I've never had slides before, I don't think. They are gorgeous. Can you just see, we, I've lo always loved Valentinos, but these I think are still the prettiest ones I think I've ever seen. And um, 
the bad thing is when I tried on the eights, I got these when I was in Atlanta and I tried on the, now we're a size eight and I think it said for me to, the website and all the reviews said to get a nine that they run small. So when I tried on the nine, I felt like my foot was too, just jiggling around too much in there. And so I ended up trying on these, which are the eight, I'm trying, I'm looking for the size. Yes, yeah, it's 38. So I tried on these and they look so pretty and my foot just goes right to the end. But when I wear them, I feel like they could be slightly too small. I feel like maybe my foot isn't fitting in the mold quite as good. So these were actually in Brooke's room because she wears a seven and so she's been wearing them. And I might, I really miss them. And I might just break down and buy the 39 and just have them, I think that maybe they were supposed to be just that little bit big where your foot's kind of a little bit more floppy in there because um, they, they also hurt my toe, like across the front. And um, so I just think that maybe I should have gotten a 39. If you have these or any slides, will you let me know down below? But I love these. I think they're so pretty. They look so good with jeans and a white t-shirt or just anything, but they're just so pretty with those studs on there. So those were my favorite 18 purchases. Let me go ahead and do a full outfit of the day and then I will see you next time. Hold on. These are another one of my favorites. These are the same jeans that you guys saw me in a couple weeks ago. They're the Levi's and I just love, they're just like boyfriend jeans. If you like the Corey um, from Citizens of Humanity, they're similar to that. They're the button fly. And then I've got on, whoops, the Target boots that I showed you last Friday and then my gucci belt and then i'll wear some probably the leopard jacket and um really not plan on going anywhere big maybe out to eat tonight and um the sweatshirt i have on you guys probably remember is a wild fox sweatshirt and it's one of my favorites and if you ever i know nordstrom rack and like Sacks off fifth and those stores usually have these there's just nothing like a wild fox sweatshirt they're my favorite and um then of course the gucci belt and these hoops are from dean davidson and i love these i think the color and the design go well with the tiger i don't know they just look pretty to me and um then of course my hear me roar ring and no fragrance yet i don't know if i will today and i think that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that, you know, there's something that you may be able to still get. I hate that when I show things that aren't available anymore, but if I can find something similar, I will. And I will see you probably tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.